Ford workers in Chicago walked out today. Thousands at the Chicago assembly plant on the southeast side joining the United Auto Workers on strike. Our Tara Molina spent the day at that plant. She brings us more from those local workers this afternoon. About 5,000 UAW workers make up this Chicago assembly plant, meaning there are about 25,000 workers now on strike across the country. Stand up, it's our time, it's our time. Chicago workers joining those we've told you about in Naperville and Bolingbrook Friday in the UAW strike as they reach the two week mark. I got off this morning at about 3.30 in the morning and you know, I'm, I'm here standing with my brothers and sisters because what better time than this than to stand shoulder to shoulder. Chicago Ford workers aren't the only ones speaking out. We heard from Ford president and CEO Jim Farley in a virtual press conference. We still have time to reach an agreement and avert a real disaster, but not much more time given the fragility of the supply base. Echoing what we've already heard from automakers. He said Ford has made competitive counteroffers and argues the UAW's demands would make it very difficult to compete with other car manufacturers. The strike has already shuttered assembly plants, park distribution centers, and other facilities across more than 20 states. The UAW demands include a 36% pay raise over four years, cost of living adjustments, pension benefits for all employees, and a four day work week. This plant manufactures Ford Explorers, Lincoln Aviators. We also build the uh, police interceptors here. So that, that's going to be a very big impact. We do the ones that they need and that people want. Chicago Ford workers like Daniel and Craig hearing constant honks and solidarity their first day on the picket line. It shows that people have our back. They understand what we're dealing with and what we're going through, and we appreciate it. Striking workers across the country are still being paid through a fund set up by the UAW. You can find our full coverage of this strike in this story. It's up on our website right now. Reporting in South Deering, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.